Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Um, we are gonna do a cool item getting today. All right, so I want to share it with you guys. Here's on the Legacy playlist. Um, for Falgen. Falgen. He's respect thirteen, but I just got. Oh, that's not the right button. No, that that's not the right button either. Where is his weapon? There's his unique weapon. We're gonna get this today. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Should I just like pause it? There's our thumbnail. <laughs> Let's see if it'll just make that thumbnail now that I did that. Um, that would be fun. Sometimes YouTube will make automatic thumbnails for the things. Um, so, I completed all three of the tasks. Here are the tasks. Um, your kingdom occupies Erd Lewin. All right. Uh, safer, which I did last season. Once you get it done one season, it holds it. You're done. You have to do it, though. When your character is respect 10, this is really important for new players, okay? Really, really important. Maybe I'll put this in the guide playlist just to let you guys know. See, here's all my characters that I have over rank 10 that I'm working on. Again, some of their abilities are still locked. For example, Dane, if I jump over to Dane's here. Excuse me, it's not unlocked. It's ready to go. I just don't have enough stuff to use it on. I take that back, what I just said. Um, basically, uh, but you can't unlock... you you. Retroactively recharge 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, do I have her? No, I, I, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm doubting myself, guys. I'm doubting myself. You, what I said was correct. Um, a1 is just rank 10. Okay, yes. I, I'm correct what I said. You cannot start earning it until you're rank 10. I said that. I do not take anything back. I just said it was correct. So, um, basically, when you're doing, when you're doing your character uh, thing with that... Make sure once you hit rank 10, then you're trying to unlock the different um, things for those characters. Again, these characters are all over rank 10 that I have. Um, so basically, I have quite a few characters that are over rank 10. I didn't actually realize that. Um, but once you get their abilities done, you can see who's ready to go. Okay, so locked. Falgan. Um, let's go over to Thorin here real quick. Uh, Thorin is ready to go. Again... I've completed his thing. So they all have things you have to do. A lot of some of them are really easy, some of them are not. Use Falcon's army to defeat ten mobs of level twenty-five or higher. Basically, it's the right the sweeping. Uh protecting your friends. Use Falcon to activate a hundred benefit skills in battle. Okay, just basically doing fights. Your kingdom occupies Erd Lewin Keep. Again, Erd Lewin Keep for Falgan would be located up here, Erd Lewin Keep. Okay. Which is where he's from. Which is technically Thorin's Hall. I kind of wish they'd just named this Thorin's Hall so that Erdlewin keep. But technically, Thorin's Hall would be up here in Four Lindon. So, in the actual location. This is actually the Erdlewin Mountains. That's why. But Bryce worded a little different. But enough with geography. You guys are here to see me do it. Like, get it, right? So, here we go. Let's do it. I do enjoy making these videos. Can you tell? <laughs> um, so, I have 64 out of 60. I'm going to go ahead and get the buckler. I'm going to see what if I'm going to upgrade and use it. It's I actually think I'm going to use it. So, I've been thinking I like to roleplay as dwarves. I finished his tier 2 weapon that uses mithril. So, now my tier 2 mithril I can start putting in someone else that I earn over time. And that's going to be Falgan. I thought about Theoden and other people. But I think I'm going to go with Falgan because his, his accessory is really good. So, his accessory, if you click on it, by the way. If you don't know, once you click this little button right here, when you're in your commander, you can click on the actual thing and see it. It says your army HP plus one, army defense plus ten, so that helps any kind of race in your army. And then also, your dwarves get plus one health and get plus five defense. That does stack. So basically, if you're using dwarves in your army, which Falcon, you always want to be using three kinds of dwarves, which is how his kit works. I have a whole guide video on him if you want to go see that on the guide playlist later after this. Um... Finish watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. I would love to see if this video got like 40 likes in the first 24 hours. That'd be epic. I'd appreciate it. Um, so again, we're growing as a channel. It used to be I'd only get like five likes like a year ago. So appreciate the support, guys. Um, so again, that's your abilities. He also gets abilities for every kind of unit in his army. Buffs here. This one I'm not going to be able to increase very quickly because I'll have to use actual purple mithril for it. And I'm not sure how much money we'd be putting in the game, so I'm going to have to wait to earn it over time because I'm kind of happy how much money I put in the game in the past. And I'm not like a super spender. I'm like a mid. I just spent a little bit over the last two years playing the game. But um, yeah, so let's uh, let's unlock it. You're here to see it unlocked. So ready? So you click OK. Make sure you have enough mithril. All right, here we go. I'm going to click up here. We see the color appear, which is kind of cool. 
And Falcon goes, Well, I'll be. What a great gift you've bringing me. I am proud to have you by my side, friend Zolan Iron Shield. Oh, yes, Falcon. We're happy to have you as well. All right, anyway, sorry. A little voice acting there for fun. Um, I love doing dwarf voices. They're my favorite for sure. Uh, yeah, cool. So now let's look at the item, shall we? So now if you go in here, you can see, uh, where's the item? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's been put down here. That's, there it is. There it is. All right, so Falgon's item. So right now what I'm using on Falgon is I am using these fireworks because they increase his dwarven axe throwers range. He gives him a focus, which is good. But I am going to swap it out. So now the thing is, what am I going to do to upgrade it? All right. So it is an accessory. What am I going to use to accessorize it? Um, I'm kind of wondering if I should sacrifice something else. It's a really hard decision. Like, because I have the Mare's Reigns and it's such a good item. It's a really good item for Theoden. I do like Theoden and I do have him hearty high respect. But like... I'm really focusing on dwarves every season when I play. I really like using dwarves. Um, it's just, you know, it's me, it's my channel, right? I do dwarves here. Um, I love all the races, obviously. I love the stories. Theoden's one of my favorite characters in the movies and in the books. But, hmm, it's really, really hard because this is a really good item. If I just upgrade it a little bit, so um, it'll go from having uh, 13 defense to this, and then the next upgrade, let's actually see, I can look at the equipment's numbers. If I go back to, I have to go into items, right? We go into items, if you don't know how to do this. You go to your equipment, whatever it be, I passed it like a silly head. Oh, it's equipped now, it's at the top. Uh, there it is. And then you click this little book up there in the top right. See that book right there? Okay, click that. And then right here, and then you can say, there's a button right here behind my monitor. It says C-Max Filled Stats. So I'm going to click that, and you see I changed it up there. But I just realized this only shows you the actual refining stats, which are the, these lower stats. Um, so uh, I can't show you the other stats right now. By the way, if you notice, it says 0, 0 right now. The only reason everything those are low is because it's at 50% familiarity. If you know how that works, I have a whole video on that. I have to have him fight a few times, and then I'll get full stats from it. Okay? So uh, let's see where Falcon even is right now. He's over here. I'm going to go ahead and send him some troops to use. I'm just gonna, I don't care really what it gives. I'm also going to keep mock battling my Dane, King Dane. Uh, oh, by the way, just so you guys uh, can see this, I have my King Dane also at high respect, and I can technically also unlock his hat when I get another enough Mythos Mithro, but it's going to be a long time, and I'm not planning on spending tons and tons of money. It's a thousand gems daily if you want to get your one, like, gold Mithril each day from the Matham house. You can, like, there's a resetting one, but I don't I don't think we're doing that anytime soon, so I have to earn them the old-fashioned way. So it's going to be a while before I can use this helmet, but this helmet's still really good even without refines, um, which refines would be using the gold Mithril, but I could still upgrade with gold items to make this really powerful, too. It's a great great helmet accessory but until that time i will be getting a lot more purple to use his special buckler his hardy buckler so what are we going to put into this i'm so tempted to use some of these things here um i think what we'll end up doing here is i think i'm gonna use this silver harp for now unlock that even though it has some good stats on it and this built of the Citadel, which I'm sure some people will cringe because this is a really good item. But again, I'm not planning on using men or any of the heroes that are going to use this item. So you have to think about what characters are you going to be using realistically, especially if you're someone who is a free-to-play player or if you're someone who only pays a little bit on the game, like me, a reasonable, or at least I'd say a reasonable amount. Um, I'm not really, I kinda, I'll call myself a whale as a joke. So anyway, there we go. So now my defenses are higher for my characters. If I upgrade it again, it'll actually increase by one HP. So that means my army's HP will be plus two, plus two. It's saying plus one, plus one right now. But in reality, as we know, if I unequip this item, let's just unequip it for a second so you can see the regular numbers. There, it's one, one. And then it's a 13 defense now and six defense. So if I do one more, it would be two, two, which is a plus four HP to my dwarves. It's really strong, you guys. 4 HP is a lot, especially if you're counting also on top of this, my Durin's Blade he's using, that gives plus 3, and also gives plus 3 attack to his army. It's really strong. Um, it's really, really strong. 
He's got def defense for his dwarves with this, damage for his dwarves. I'd like to give him a different helmet, but this is just what I gave him right now, because what I had. But um, I might end up using, like... I don't know, I might try to give him a, one of these helmets. These would be really good for him, too. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what should I do? Should I get rid of the main? Oh, gosh, you guys. Probably should have. I wanted to do it with you here on the video, but I'm like... And I'm like, ah, what do I do? It's such a hard decision. Because the, the main, these things are so good. And unfortunately, you only can upgrade um, strength and accessories with other accessories. You can't use armor or anything. And you only refine if it's a special item with the level of mithril you have. Or if it is an item that is, um, it has to be the same one. So for example, if I strengthen this one once, I could only refine it with other warband battle plates. The same named item is how you refine items. So refining is a lot harder, and refining only increases the lower stat here that says strength and dexterity, whatever the name is. The ones above are all increased by strengthening, putting the silver stars in, basically. Silver stars versus the gold stars. Gold stars overlay the silver. You can't refine until they're all the, the silver star is there. Another little side note there for you guys. Um, I really want to strengthen this again. <sighs> Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Okay, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one to strengthen it. I actually like this ability a lot better. Mounted, allied mounted units each round recover HP. I like it better than the unit speed buff anyway. So if I was going to get more things in the future, I'd rather just have this one to upgrade. So um, I know I won't have one of them. I'll be missing a few of the Reigns mirrors to upgrade this, but we're going to do it for the video, guys, because... Uh, you guys are here for it, and I really want to do it. So I need to unlock this one, so I'm going to unlock it. It's important to lock the items that you're not using. I think it's really important. Uh, so again, you don't really need to lock these because I don't think you can even sell these. You can break some items down with certain... Spe you can break these down with a certain special item, by the way. Just throw this out here. This this actually lets you to let you pull things out. So in the future, if I was upset with the choice and I don't want to use him anymore, I could use one of these to pull them out. So I do have some oopsie options in the future if I needed to. So, but we're gonna go ahead and just use that mains rares. May, excuse me. Mara's reigns. Jeez, I just destroyed that word. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and strengthen. All right, so this strength materials of strength and equipment will be uh, uh, regarded as worn equipment. When added materials uh, exceed the required number, the uh, excesses will be returned to you as worn equipment. Refining materials will be returned to you as equipment. Worn accessory four, main trash warrant returned. That's okay, I get that. So the strengthened things will just become strengthened broken down items for me to use for gold and stuff. The refining ones will pop out. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. There we go, okay. All right. So, at this point, do I have it equipped right now? Because the stats didn't go up like I thought they were going to go up. Uh, let's just see here. Oh. All right. Well, um, I think I misread that. Uh, it was still just one plus one HP. I was right um, with the other thing. So, I do have to do it one more time if I want to get the plus two. I think I can do it, though. Yeah, see, there it is. Oh, look at that. But I have a bunch of worn accessories because it pulled it out, which are these little worn ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. All right. So now, sorry, it added plus, the level two added plus three, plus three to the defenses. This one is going to add more to the defenses. So it's going to go from 16 to 20, from eight to 10, so two and four. And it's going to add, uh, to go from one to two, one to two with HP. Okay. So there we go. Now the item is really strong, even without refines. And even without upgrading two more times, because I don't have any really more items to upgrade with, if I want to do another one, look at this, I need six, and I only have, well, one, I have technically six, but I don't want to use my Airbrush Pride or Box, because I'm going to upgrade something else, so I would, and I really don't want to use these stars, they're so good, even though I don't know if I'm going to need them for dwarves, but they're just such a good item, um, but in the future I might use them, we'll see, but anyway, yeah. That's a pretty good item. It's still, in my opinion, this version of this item, standalone right here, is much better for Falgan in particular than this item, okay? This is great, plus three attack, and the range damage increases the damage. Really awesome, and the focus. But the fact that this one gives plus four HP to all your dwarves, plus 30 defenses, and all melee and range units damage dealt and received 
goes down by one and a half percent is basically the the number that would add up 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 right one and 0.5 percent um so one and a half uh for all their damage dealt and received again it's not as good as that you know other increase of like three three attack and stuff in that but this defense is just it's brilliant especially when you when you go into the fact that i also have this that gives plus three attack to dwarves still ally dwarves take less damage might this this increases their damage as well it just it's so focused around protecting dwarves it's just awesome um not to mention his abilities right they also make your characters take less damage depending on who you have your melee and range do more damage you have it's so he's we're set guys we're set okay that's what i'm saying here we're set um he's gonna be pretty darn awesome again i want to try to switch this helmet out in the future too i guess i could just give him another one like this but i have gimli using that one right now again i want a different ability than resolve of the dwarves but for now that's good all right guys falgan his item the hardy buckler there it is thanks for watching the whole video if you did don't forget to like subscribe if you like rise to war content or any lord of the rings content we do lots on this channel lots of different games lots of different lore reviews and collectibles all that kind of jazz and uh subscribe ones there next episode's up there and over there will be a lotro tale where we do lord of the rings voiceovers in lotro one of the best lord of the rings games that stands true to tolkien of all time in my personal opinion and the majority of most gamers that have played it and realize how great it is all right See you guys. See you on the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment. What's your favorite commander or something? I'd love to hear. See ya.